Got it! Hey guys, it's me, Double D, with another episode of Paper Mario! Last time, we took care of the stuff at the pink station and got ourselves some new found recipes. Now that T Tasty is capable of cooking with more than two ingredients, I don't know how a cookbook allows her to do that. But anyway, this time, you want to remember these two boxes, or four boxes here in the green station. They're gonna be important very much later. Let's go into the right because, well, it's the only place we can go. Based on what the Koopa Troll looks like, I highly recommend that you you take out any badges you don't need, like say, um, um, well, any badge that will go towards using Spike Shield. Ice Power you don't really need at the moment, so you may as well put on Spike Shield now just for those Koopa Trolls so you can be able to, to, well, beat them up and stuff, and you don't have to worry about stepping on their spiky heads and getting hurt and stuff. So yeah. Anyway, one of the Toad said that there's there's some wired fences that we want Bo to, to use the Bo to get through them. And, and I don't know why I took out Bombed, because I intend to take put out Goombario here. Hello, Merle. How are you? Yeah, off screen I refilled on Merle's magic, so I could still reap the benefits from her rewards. And already it's turning out better than what I've hoped. Anyway, we got the mystery note. You can't read this. Show it to someone who is very smart. Oh, I know who's someone who is very smart. And take a look. There's a slot machine over here. Let's play a game. Yeah, you basically get whatever's in there. And should you get nothing, your reward is random, which includes two shy guys. And in fact, this brings me to something very special. First, I'm going to weaken the shy guy for a little bit. So, you can see that there's a slot machine in the background. All battles in this area have a slot machine in the background. Well, you can actually target the blocks of the slot machine, including the start button. So you can get the slot, the slot machine started while you're in battle. In fact, when you stop the slot machine, which you can automatically do it by hitting any of the three buttons over here, it'll just go to panels upon panels and matching them up. If you get ma a match, you get coins. And, oh my god, the camera. But yeah, you get your reward in the form of coins. I don't think you can be able to collect them until the battle is ended. I'm not really sure myself. I don't think that transferred well for in the way of getting coins. Somebody told me Bo can easily avoid all kinds of enemy attacks. What a cool skill! I wish I had that useful talent. I don't know why I had Goombario Tattle over there. Anyway, I'm gonna bring out Paracarry over here because we're gonna be doing a lot of flying. I'm not gonna bother with that that one up there yet, but oh, I almost forgot. This entrance right here, you can easily miss this if you're not looking and looking hard enough. We get a star piece from our troubles. Anyway, so the real the real solution to this is to jump onto the air and find some way to get on top of the higher higher part of that blue block, that light blue block. Of course, it's pretty much easy to do because. What you need to do is wait for wait for them to be at a level where I could easily jump up there. Um, I don't think I could be able to do that. Oh, there we are. Yeah, it takes a lot of patience, and I could definitely see people struggling with that. And I forgot to stock up on healing items, and I should feel very bad. Or any items for that matter. I'm going to take out Goombario over here because he just fell down. Uh, you know what? I'm going to re-equip my badges and remove group focus for a little bit to put in Quake Hammer. Oh, it's only one BP. That means I could just take out some something else I don't need. That's one BP. And that would be... Um... Speedy Spin for now, because we're not... Because that's probably not going to be of helpful to us for this battle to give us Quake Hammer. This will make sense eventually. Yes! I thought you'd come! Now to defeat you and win admiration from King Bowser! I'm gonna be famous! Oh, you're gonna be famous, alright. Famous for being beaten by me. Anyway, so I'm gonna open up with the Quake Hammer to, well, get them on their backs. There we go! Now they're unable to move. Gumbario? 
Actually, no. I'm gonna isolate one of them before I tattle. There we go. Okay, now they're back up, but I'm gonna use do another Quake Hammer just to get them back on their get them back. There is another special property to these Koopa Trolls that I want to show off, but I'm gonna tell them one for now. This is a Koopa Troll. They're elite Koopa soldiers. They're the highest ranked guards of Bowser's Castle. Math HP 8, attack power 4, defense power 3. In case you hadn't noticed, they're fitted with spikes. Don't jump on them. When their HP drops low, they'll charge up for power for one last ditch attack. The power of this desperate attack is 10. They've also been known to call in reinforcements when they're in trouble. Don't underestimate these nasty Koopas, Mario. Okay, so I'm gonna let let the Koopa Troll get do his turn and do absolutely nothing for now. Or have the partners focus because I want to fill up on that star gauge. Because something interesting happens with these th these guys. Ah, there we are, there we are. They're calling in reinforcements. This is a good way to build up on star points should you need some star points. Hello, Merly! You're gonna kill this Koopa Troll for me. Three, two, one. Quick! So yeah, you can just allow the Koopa Trolls to call in reinforcements and then pretty much grind up on star points, which is exactly what I'm going to do right now. See? They're doing it again. And I believe they... Oh, they didn't heal themselves up. The animation looked like they heal themselves up, but nope. So yeah. I am planning to... What I'm planning to do is to make... Sh force them to call in reinforcements. When they're... When their health is low enough. I believe they call in a maximum of three reinforcements, so I wouldn't... I don't know for sure. Okay, so let's see if this one's gonna call for reinforcements. I'm just gonna do nothing for he him. Um... Ah, uh, one more round should do it good. And hopefully he should either... Oh, no, he is not. Okay, time for you to die. There you go! He is dead. <gasps> yes! Merly! <sighs> oh, yeah. I got more- Oh my god! That is a huge upgrade if I've ever seen it! I am definitely going for BP. I am not complaining one bit! Anyway, we get the dictionary! Okay. What? I am going to rearrange my badges because I am so happy that happened. Oh my god. I could not be any happier. Spike shield, you're gone. Ice power, you're in. And I need more. Uh, I, that, today it's going to go to Dodge Master to make my life easier with the, with the Dodge Action Command. And Spin Smash. And sure, double dip. I have, I, I, and I'm almost halfway there to another level up. Just a few more, and I could be able to level up some more. Anyway, so, we are told to take it to somewhere somewhat smart with that mystery note. And as you recall, someone's dictionary got stolen. I bet you could, we could see where we're get, we, were, we are supposed to go to be able to take care of that. Oh yeah, I sort of forgot. I took out Speedy Spin because I didn't need it. Um, I'm just gonna forego Double Dip for now. Or Dodge, Dodge Master for now, and trade in Double Dip for Speedy Spin. Yeah, I kinda like being able to move around easily, and I sorta forgot to I unequip that, so... I could just do, do things in... You know what? I'm just gonna put in the I Spy Badge. Just to demonstrate something. Anyway, so! The smartest toad in town is this house over here! Curses Mario! A shy guy stole my dictionary! Please get it back from him! I'm- I'm losing IQ point! <laughs> anyway, let's give him the mystery note first. You'd like to me to translate this note for you? Let's see. Aha, uh -huh, it seems to be written in the language of the shy guys. Well, this would be an easy task if I still had my dictionary, but the shy guy stole it. I'll tell you what, I'll take care of the note for now. Why do you need a dictionary to do all your smart things? My dictionary! Oh, wonderful words! Many thanks, Mario! Hit yellow, green, red, and then blue. Hmm, that's what the Shy Guy's note says. Okay, so... 
remember the order of those words, because that's gonna be very important to us. Oh, by the way, another place for a, for a star, star piece. Um, this tree. Yeah, I totally forgot that was there. <laughs> anyway, on to Shy Guy's toy box, again. Here we are back at the green station of Shy Guy's toy box, and that order is yellow, green, re red, and blue. Well, remember these blo blocks I pointed out in the beginning? Well, if you hit them with your hammer in the order that they said, I totally forgot what that was, but I'm gonna guess that. Yep, got it right! And you know what? I just realized something. You know where those four tracks are? That is almost identical to the to the order that they were hit. Well, aside from yellow and green being, well, swapped. But the blue and- the red and blue are- are in the right order. Yeah. Anyway, you could easily just brute force this and pretty much skip going into this section altogether so you could avoid getting the, getting the Koopa Troll, but I don't want to do that. Anyway, we can now go to the red station now. But notice here that we have the option to go to the blue station. Even though, as you recall, going to the blue station is an unviable thing because there's there's some track problems. In fact, we stop right here. I think our little track problem will be fixed if you pull down that lever. Or maybe not, I'm not sure. Hmm, <laughs> to pull or not to pull. Sounds like someone is just plain old lazy. Lazy and just making us do all the hard work with no pay whatsoever. Anyway, let's get back to the let's get back to the station. We should have moved that lever ages ago. You don't say. And I don't know why we had to go through this animation again. But yeah. Our round is complete, so at least we can be able to go through anywhere we want in any any rotation order we want. So let's go to the red station. Because that's pretty much where we want to go. Welcome to the red station for real this time! We did pass by this, but I, I went directly to the blue station. Okay, so what do you have to say? And that indicates there is a star piece in this room, uh, in a hidden panel. The other day, I saw a sh gang of shy guys carrying a sparkling card of some sort in a cage. They headed off to the right. Do you think I had to go check out what they're doing? Anyway, as you saw in that icon for you Hawkeye viewers, there is an icon. That is the effect of the I Spy badge. That merely indicates that there is a hidden panel somewhere. Not the location. It doesn't show you where. Anyway, we got the star piece out of the red station. I'm gonna take out Gumbario really quick because for reasons I... For reasons. It's the red station. First blue, then pink, then green, and finally red. It's a pretty cute touch, naming the stations after colors. By the looks of this place, I'd say that the Shy Guys look like cuteness. They even look like cute kids. Yeah, they do look like adorable kids. Mischievous kids, I might add. Anyway, I'm gonna go take off the I Spy badge and replace it with something else. Because I don't want that spike. I don't want the I Spy badge on there. And we'll replace it with... Um, let's go with... Power... Pa multi bounce. No shrink stop. Actually, yeah, quake hammer. Chances are I'm going to be facing up against enemies that are on the ceiling and stuff in the future, so I might as well have that. Anyway, this room over here. Uh, there's a pyro guy that I don't want to deal with because I want to do. S I'm saving that guy for later. In fact, if we go up here, I'm not going to bother with that block up here because the. This is a ferris wheel, which means it'll be moving and it'll be very, very difficult for me to hit, the, hit that block over and over again. Anyway, so let's go down here and... I want to avoid the pyro guy! Okay, I guess we're gonna be going with the battle with it. Okay, so within this hidden block you get another deep focus badge. This stacks up with other deep focus badges that you may have, which increases its effect with, if you have more of the same badge. It's pretty neat! And now, into this room. <laughs> Someone has come! Someone is here in the dark! <laughs> oh, could it be? <laughs> it's Mario! Looks like you're mine, Mario! <laughs> I want 
want that to go anywhere. <laughs> I'll take care of you quickly, then return to my darkness. I hate the light, so I'll take you with me to the deep dark. What was I trying to go with with that voice over there? Anyway, you want to aim with the lantern because if you don't aim for the lantern first, you won't be able to hit anything at all. Anyway, take it away, Gumbario. This is a big lantern ghost. He avoids attacks by hiding in the dark. Max HP 40, attack power 5, defense power 0. Your friends, like <laughs> me, will also be damaged when he does the flash attack. This flash attack's of power is 2. Hit the lantern many times and make it brighter, and you'll be able to attack him. As soon as you can see, hit him right on the head. Oh, that light! It's so bright! This is no good! Here, darker and darker! So as you can see, we cannot target him if it's dark out. Having multi-hit attacks like Bow, Gumbario, and Power Bounce are pretty much instrumental to making this fight easier for you. I recommend using Bow because having five hits will allow it the, to, the battle to illuminate bright enough to be able to, well, see him. I'm gonna go use a Power Bounce on his head. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, not my best record. Uh, that can't be good. Boa's out for two turns, so she pretty much can't do anything. Time for another power bounce. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now he's gonna waste his turn trying to darken the room, so... You don't have to get it that bright to the same level Bo's is. This, this, this lighting is pretty much enough, and I need to heal up. But yeah, the lighting we see here is enough for you to target him. Hello, Merly! Thanks for coming to bright up my day, even though it's probably going to be wasted if I flub it. One, two, three. Okay, yeah, I did. Okay, so I'm going to do aim for the big lantern ghost because I can target him clearly. He's almost dead, so... Okay, and now he's gonna waste a turn. Yeah, forcing him to waste a turn to 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 take out the light is also good. It's all it's also good that if he wastes a turn just to make it dark again, because then he wastes a turn when he should have done it to attack you, and it's gonna go, have the battle go into your favor. And I don't think it matters much anymore because if he if he do because either way he's gonna die. One, two, three. Yeah, just one more attack and he is dead. I could just... Okay, so yeah. He just wasted his turn using the lantern. There we go. And... He is pretty much finished. I mean, I don't have to worry about my HP being that low. So, let's finish him off. from this lantern, so we want to set whatever it is free. There are many ways to break open the lantern. You can jump on it, you can smash it with a hammer, but one thing I would like to do is take out Bombette and blow it up. Take it away, Bombette! <laughs> You're crazy, mister! Did you, um, have to blow it out to get me out? Jeepers! Hey, aren't you, um, Mario? You just saved me like a hero! You're a hero, aren't you? You're the coolest! You saved me from that mean guy who like, laugh like, wee hee hee! I gotta make it up to you! I'll go with you, Mario, okay? I heard that the, um, shy guy's saying that you're trying to save Princess Peach from Bowser! You're super great! You're the greatest great guy! I think you're the best! So, um, I really want to help. I'll be good, really. Watch join the party! And we do 
don't get to say no to him because why would you ever say no to her? She's too cute! If you press down on the C-stick, I will illuminate the area around you! With my light, you can see invisible blocks too! While in battle, I can shock enemies with my electro dash or paralyze them with a power shock! Ooh, it's pretty dark, huh? I kinda like the dark! But, um, now I can show you how helpful I can be, okay? Use my power, okay? We press C down, and... Wow, pretty cool, huh? Look, it's so bright now! <laughs> I bet nobody else can help like that, huh? Can they? Nope, no, let's go! <laughs> what? It's freaking awesome! If you see a dark room, use it to illuminate the area. This will help you immensely when moving around, but... That's not all her light does. If you're, if you're in a lit area, using her light is helpful because... You see right here? Without what, you could not see that block. But now you can. We get ourselves a snowman doll. Okay, and I need to heal up right away because I just realized I only have two... Two health left, so... I need to do something about that. Okay, so I'm gonna take out Paracarry and... Right up here! is a super block. I want to not upgrade Cooper, sorry Cooper, but I want to upgrade Watt straight away. Watt is amazing in battle. And I, I'm so happy that we got her because, well, we could be able to use her to the fullest. Upgrading her right away makes her even amazing. And I will explain to why once we get into a battle, but first I need to heal up because I am hurting from that, bo from that boss battle, but yeah. Watt is, is amazing in more that ways than one. Anyway, I would like to say something here because I think I skipped over it, but when you upgrade it, grade a partner, the description for Watt refers to Watt as male. It says he'll learn electric shot when Watt is female. Technically, he's a, Watt is a little sparky, which we have no way to define his gender aside from story text, so... Hey, we don't assume here. Unless, of course, it's, it's visible. I just realized, what sparks just just go faster when we move? Anyway, so, where is that pyro guy? Okay, so, what is capable of many things? First, I need to take out this pyro guy. Because I don't think this is a good battle to demonstrate what what is capable of. So, what is capable of many things. First, we'll do a power shock. If it works, it can paralyze an enemy with an electric shock. So, let's paralyze the enemy. Oh, crap. Okay, apparently that's considered a contact move. That kind of puts a wrench on trying to demonstrate what he is capable of. Crap, I cannot jump on him now. That sucks. <sighs> that, sorry, what? I, your first battle was not the greatest. I did terrible. I am so sorry. And I am... And this is not good. This is not good at all. I can't jump. I can't... I can't jump. I can't use... Use my best. I can't demonstrate quickly on what. Oh, there we are. Anyway, so what? For real this time. Power shock. Should you do? Should you do the action command successfully, you will increase the chances of paralyzing him just like that. He can't move. And now, what other action? Turbo charge. You have to press A as soon as the stars light up. One, two, three, bing, bing. Yeah. The more successful you are in the in the action command, the better you will the more turns you will have with this power boost. That that number on the top left corner of the screen will tell you how long it is before the power boost expires. I wasted the turn just trying to demonstrate things because I want to demonstrate one more thing. Electro Dash, Watt's other attack. Penetrate defense power and attack power with electricity. This is what makes Watt so good. Electro Dash is her only attacking power, which is a big negative, but that doesn't really matter if Watt can target an enemy no matter where an enemy is and can penetrate defenses, so defense is no longer a prob problem if you have Watt around. So basically, Watt is pretty much a utility tool like any other. She'll help out Mario in many ways, either, either through paralyzing enemies, increasing his attack power, or just basically doing consistent damage thanks to penetrating that defense. I love Watt, and so should you. Watt is the amazing party member, and upgrading her will bring amazing things, especially right as soon as you get her. With that, however, I think we're, it, we're at a good stopping point for now. Next time on Paper Mario, we're going to be going further into the Shy Guys toy box to investigate what's up ahead. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!
Thank you.